Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch. I'm on Vimeo and my account. This is the page. Notice um, what's available on the page. You should familiarize yourself with it. New video. I'm going to go into this private one that I recorded. Click on it and you'll be able to recognize that this was indeed a recording of the screen. You can see the video or my webcam in the middle. There it is. Notice I made it private. Okay, here we are. There's my webcam. And it's private. That's if you don't want to share it with anyone else. You simply want to have it for yourself and use it whenever you want, in any way you want. The next step is to download it and upload it to your computer. So let's see how that works. So we're not going to bother with a published social or embed unless we're using a private system but we're going to go into the right here and the settings at the bottom click on the settings wait a few seconds until it comes up and we have this page now notice this is where you get your information so even if you're adding it to your computer or anywhere else you want to have a an appropriate title not like this one and if you wish, a description to help you locate it. But the title is really, really important. You can add a thumbnail. In other words, create a GIF out of your thumbnail and simply keep it private. Notice over here, you can continue keeping it private. So where can this be embedded? If it's private, it doesn't really make a difference. But if you make it public, you might not want others to embed or to comment on or download so make sure that this is off you don't want it made public in any way and notice um under the video there's download and this is where you download it to your computer system that's a copy of the url all right so notice if you go to the top right you also get similar information there's copy the video link, copy download link, copy embed, publish to social, embed an email, or send the file. Now here you can even send the file to yourself. But if it's private, it not, might not work so well. So here is the file. I've sent it. And here you can decide again if it's private. You might not want to allow downloads. So keep this off and there's other information here as well so let's go back to the settings you notice the settings on the right here if you missed it it was here if you missed it uh, let's take a look at it again just uh, to make sure that you got this we're going to not publish to social but we're going to go to advanced click on advanced Advanced is always good because you get lots of options there. And then we're going to go into Send File over here. Click on that. And now we want to get back from this page. We're going to go to Settings and notice there's an arrow over here that takes you to the right. So if we click on the Settings, we'll go to the right and we'll come back to this page. And that's how the story starts all over again. So you can always change your mind, of course. Even if you've downloaded to your computer, you can change your mind and do as you wish. Notice what's here. Again, over here, you go to the right and click on that and you get to this page where we were before. This is another area where you can add notice here. These are your recordings. Okay, the recordings over here. Let me show you that again. The recordings and you have the dates when they were added. You have different ways of showing them. There's a settings privacy that you can change as you go. You can uh, do bulk act tasks here by clicking here and getting things done. Notice anything else that you have here. Live events are not free. Not everything is free, so make sure that what you have is included in whatever 
package you have, if it's paid or if it's free. And that's it. Have a great day. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment box below this video and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.